now I have mounted up a couple electrical boxes and uh, uh, kind of mocking out how I'm going to lay out the end phase cable. So this here is a pull switch box. Um, the local authority required a disconnect on the roof, um, so I'm using that. Uh, and then there's a two gang uh, bell outdoor box uh, mounted right there. You can see the uh, end phase cable is coming out of that and we have that string going across the roof that way, goes down to the end, does a U-turn, and comes back um, along the upper row of the array. And there's uh, end phase drop at each point where there'll be a panel in about the middle of the panel. Uh, so where each of those drops are on the trunk cable, there will be an end phase inverter. I've also set up uh, a lot of the bolts that need to be in, so the mid clamp and clamp bolts are all in place as well. Um, ready to mount everything. So it looks like the wiring is going to work in this configuration. So what I'm going to do is dress this cable using some clamps or some clips uh, and put that into place and make sure everything lines up before securing things down. So what I just did is take the metal clips uh, provided by Enphase for the cable and put two of those clips around each drop point on the cable. Uh, so you can see the cable is now dressed nicely on the rails. Uh, that end phase cable will have two terminations. Uh, one will terminate with the termination cap provided by end phase, just kind of a dead end there on the top rail. The bottom rail here with the junction box is the other termination. And you can see I left a little bit of extra slack in there. Uh, and that's so that we can do all the splices and have a little extra room um, to work in the future. Here you can see I have the end phase inverter hooked up to the trunk cable. I just hooked up a couple of them. I wanted to sort out the issues with uh, the junction box and the switch. Uh, so what I have here is a two gang bell outdoor junction box uh, going through rain tight uh, EMT compression fitting uh, to three quarter inch EMT. That three quarter inch EMT then comes over to this AC disconnect. This is the pole style disconnect. Um, and this is also coming in uh, with uh, compression fitting rain tight. Uh, we'll do the wiring in there and then there's a fitting coming out of the bottom uh, and that will feed um, along our atrium into the garage. So this is what I have for the junction box. Some of this is a bit tricky to figure out um, how to do it. Um, basically I had to custom bend that piece of EMT, get the measurements right, um, get all the hardware to mount the boxes and everything on here. Um, but that looks like it's all in place now, um, so I should be ready to mount the rest of the inverters and then mount the panels. Here I have the uh, junction box and the switch uh, EMT conduit in between them. Uh, they're all tightened down with hardware, and I ran the uh, 10 gauge outdoor cable through them, uh, one of each color, and then I also have uh, 8 gauge uh, solid piece of grounding wire um, that's bonding all of the rails together uh, and that comes into the junction box. Um, I still have to trim these cables and wire everything up but that's what it looks like right now. Here's a quick shot uh, just the junction box with everything all uh, tied together using these outdoor grade uh, uh, splice nuts wire nuts so uh, those are tightened down uh, you can see we have uh, another wire going uh, to the box to ground that box um, and everything is set there also finished everything up here on the switch um, and actually can't see the wiring in there um, but if I open it up you can see how the switch works so the wiring behind here and uh, it's just a pull switch, so there's this piece that you can pull in and out. And that's that. Okay, so a little update. Uh, what I've done here is bent a piece of conduit to go from the switch that's here on the roof. Uh, it goes across the side of the atrium and into the garage, and then inside the garage there, there's a junction box where we'll switch to Romex. That was probably the most challenging part of the project so far. Um, 
learning how to bend the conduit and bending it. Um, it's quite a convoluted shape for that one piece that goes from the, the box down to that uh, rain tight coupler down there. So now that that's out of the way, uh, what I'll be doing is mounting some end phase inverters and some panels. Here I have the uh, square D uh, disconnect. This is the uh, service utility disconnect. Um, this basically will go from the back feed breaker straight to here and then up to that switch on the roof. Uh, you can see here I'm running Romex from inside the garage into here. So I have this uh, Romex clamp inside of here. Also had to install a grounding bar um, into the switch. It didn't come with one. Um, but yeah, so now I'm pretty much ready. I have the cable coming from the switch uh, on the roof into the garage. Now I just need to run from a junction box in the garage uh, Romex to here, and then that will go uh, Romex again over to the main panel um, into the back feed, back feed breaker right there.